Peggy 16. I want to show the players optimizations. I'm rescaling the size of camo patterns. All right. From what 512 to 256. Look at all those camos. And then cleaning them up as I go. So that sounds like fun, don't it? Sounds like busy work. Sounds like work somebody like maybe you would like to volunteer for? No, man. I'm making the bot client. No, nah, bots. No. Didn't this you, is where did it's you at, see dude. OMFG number three? I saw that bull job, but this is where it's at, dude. Saving memory. Saving memory? You're, you're basically, you're wasting it. Um, so, you can knock eight off the small outpost pass. Um, then there should be an Amherst task in there. Actually, I'd, I think it might just still just be in the backlog. Okay. But I gotta do that before Carson starts in on the roads. Hi, Hi my name is Corey Navage and I'm the lead level designer for Planetside 2. Uh, all of the maps that you play on in game were put together by myself and my team. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we've done to increase the performance. So we've got um, a lot of these assets in the game. Anyone who's played the game for a while, I'm sure, has seen this. Because there's so many of them, it tends to slow things down. There's probably thousands of these on our world. So what we've done is combine them into larger pieces. Here we've got the 2x2 two two and the 4x4. Four four. And while this does increase our total unique objects, it, it's overall way fewer objects. You can see with this guy we're getting 16 of these for just one of these. And that type of reduction is just going to make things faster. I'm, I'm getting the pink stuff fixed up on Amber so we can push in there. Another thing we've done is reduce the total unique objects in our game. On live right now, all three of these pieces are in the game. These two aren't pink on live. We've done that so we could find them and pull them out. Hey, this is Andrew Klaus, game designer for Planetside 2. The optimization process is a very manual one. Uh, you can't just have the you know, computer do it automatically for you. We have a bunch of objects that we have decided to cull from the game to reduce the amount of unique objects that are going to be in the scene at any given time. And in this particular scene, you can see that the small crate has been removed from the game and we've turned it pink, so it's really difficult to miss. In this particular case here, we have a couple of pink barrels and two pink small crates on top of an ammo crate. We can't just, you know, go, okay, well, why don't we just turn all these into the same ammo crate? They'll be clipping into each other. The game will still think that that's a, a unique object of its own. So typically what we end up doing is starting replacing these objects with something else. So we're just going to take this one, move it on top there, find one of the other crates next to it to kind of give the same cover as it had before. So now we have the same cover as we did before with the barrels and the small crates up there, but we're using three less objects. It's not a massive performance boost by itself, but when you do this multiple times over a base, uh, in conjunction with all the other stuff that we've been doing, it's going to add up. No, from my wife. Might be dirty. <laughs> I have a couple of screenshots to show before and after results. I mean, we've got about a 63 frames per second. Total objects, 1,800. And over here in the after shot, we've got a total frame rate of 75, with total objects of only 1,470. So we brought the object count way down and increased the frame rate. And that's the point. Let's see the Amherst um, map task I was working on. That should be in progress in there somewhere that's complete. Uh, I'm going to go through and get rid of all those hostile issues. I just need to clean up the task. So I think so I'll probably do the same thing for Esamir for right now, because that's off in the distance as well. Um, no, Esamir is what I'm going to be doing while these guys are wrapping Amherst. Oh, okay. So, so we'll so keep those bugs on. Yeah. So we're doing Indar first for phase one, and Esamir and Amherst we're planning for phase two. Same changes, different continent. So we've got good days and bad days, good weeks and bad weeks, but pretty much for a lot of us it ends just the same with beer. It is the fuel that makes games happen. It's Alex Hoffman. That's James Campion. You may remember him from such films as Thursday Morning Scrum, Tuesday Morning Scrum. So it seems the EQ Next team is also here. That's how close to SOE we are right now. All right, EQ Next is piecing out already. We just got here, but whatever. Let's shake the table, quick. Sony.